guys, it's Jordan, and today I wanted to actually redo a video, which is how to make your hair look long in five minutes. So here's what my hair looked like before, and here's what it looked like after. You don't need extensions, you don't need anything for that, and I wanted to redo this because I kind of wanted to change a few things that I said, and I just kind of feel like I know more about it now, and I think this is going to be a lot better video than the first one, definitely. But if you're coming from that video, thank you for clicking this one, because... This one will be a lot better. Um, basically all you need are three hair ties, doesn't really matter, and a claw clip and if a, a brush if you need to. And I just started by curling my hair with a 19mm Numi curling wand. And I actually just won this curling wand and I love it so, so much. I also want to say, because there's some confusion of this in the last video, that some kinds of straight hair, it will work. If your hair is slick, straight, it may not work great, but it still could work. Some straight hair does work, some straight hair doesn't work. It will work with curly hair. Yeah, so just kind of try it out with your hair type. Some it does work, some it doesn't. I say it works for most though. So first you're going to start off by parting your hair straight back from your ears and it should be about half of your hair more or less. Then just brush it on the top of your head and it doesn't have to be perfect but it just looks a little bit neater if you brush it. Then just tie it with a hair tie and make sure you tie it really really tight. It has to be tight to your head and it should not be like drooping down because once it droops down then it kind of messes up the whole illusion of this hairstyle. But if you don't like it to look so slick back, then you can just kind of pull some sections on the front so you can get a little bit more volume and have it look a little bit more messy. Also, another important part of this illusion is that you pull the sides down over the part that you did from your ears back because you don't want anyone to see it. Then taking that section, you're just going to want to split it so that it has about one third of the hair on the bottom and two thirds of the hair on the top. Then just clip the top one out of your way using your claw clip and section off another section of your hair which is about half of what's still down. And tie all that together including the one third of the hair that you did not clip up. And this time it doesn't have to be as tight as the other one. Then do the same thing with this new section and split it into about a third and two thirds. Then clip up the top section as well. And lastly, you're just going to gather all your hair together and just tie it all together. Then you're just going to want to let down the middle section of your hair and tease it a little bit just so that it adds a little bit more volume and hides the other section a little bit better. Then just do the same thing with the top, but tease it a little bit more because you want the top to look a little bit more full and so that it hides the other pieces a little bit better. Then just make sure that you tugged on all of the sides so that it covers all of your parts so that you can't see the parts because if it does, then it'll kind of mess up the whole illusion. So yeah. And also make sure you tug on the top ponytail a little bit because you want that one to be extra tight. And there you go, that's how to make your hair look really long. It's so long that you can't even see the end of it on the screen. So, that took literally five minutes and look how much longer my hair is. The reason why this works is because it gives the illusion that you have layers in your hair. Normally, if you just did a ponytail, this would be how long all your hair would be. But because you did all the other layers, it makes it this long. So that's kind of how it all works. And also I realized that by doing this and kind of teasing your hair up a little bit also makes it look like it has more volume in it. If your hair is not that voluminous, then you might want to do this. And yeah, so it really, it works and it looks so cute. People won't even be able to see the inside part because the top hair is covering it. But if you are afraid, I guess you can like use a bobby pin to cover it and like bobby pin it in right there. But, you know, I don't really think it's necessary unless, like, you obviously wouldn't wear this to, like, gymnastics or cheers and then we'd be flipping around because then obviously everyone's going to see this. Just don't do any cartwheels when your hair is like this. But, um, besides that, it works and it's so cute. That's basically it. And if you guys liked this video better than the first one, make sure to give this one a thumbs up. Um, yeah, if you guys like this video, you can check out my channel and maybe even subscribe to me because I post lots of hair, makeup, DIYs, you know, that kind of awesome stuff. So if you guys are into that stuff, subscribe because that would be awesome. And um, yeah, that's basically it. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, you have two options. A, click this box to check out one of my other videos. 
or B, click the bouncing subscribe button for more awesome DIY and beauty videos. Ciao.